Hi everyone, it's Leah here from Lekela Music with another uh, piece for you to learn. This is part two in our series of essential, easy to learn by ear repertoire. Uh, and today we're looking at heart and soul. So here's what it sounds like. So that's heart and soul. If you watch that and thought, well, that looks a bit tricky for me, actually. Um, think of it as four for the price of one, because it actually sounds really good and separate as well. So the left hand is fun to play on its own. The right hand is fun to play on its own. If you have somebody else uh, that can learn it with you, you can play it as a duet, uh, playing either part. And then when you're feeling up to it and you're, you get to that level, you can start to try and put the two hands together. It's a little bit of a challenge, but a, a really, a really good one. Um, you may not be aware that YouTube has a feature where you can actually slow down videos. So uh, I think it's the right hand corner um, it has a drop down menu where you can actually choose to slow the video down so you can you can play along with it more easily. Um, so, OK, so let's go to the breakdown of the actual steps you need to learn how to play it. Looking at the left hand first, the most important thing we need to think about uh, when we're learning this piece is the rhythm. It's a swing rhythm. Um, if you're learning other pieces that have a swing in it and you're having trouble, this might be just the thing to help you get get a hang uh, get the hang of it. Um, so basically, in the left hand, we're playing a C chord, an A minor chord, an F chord, and a G chord, and we're playing them in that order. One problem I often see when people are trying to learn this is uh, that they vary the rhythm slightly so that we end up with the uh, straight quavers. So that would sound like one and two and and two and one and two and one and two and. Or if you use rhythm language, that would be just straight T T T T T T T T. So. Actually, we're using triplets to play it correctly. If you want that swing rhythm, uh, what we're doing is we're playing it in triplets. Triplets. So if you want to count them, that would be one and a. Uh. So your triplets, you're counting one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, etc. So the first note, the pattern really is long short. So you're getting, uh, you're having one and a. Uh, okay, two and a. Uh. So you've got long, short, long, short. So take some time to really master that and really get comfortable with it. Um, again, if you use rhythm language, uh, tickety is, is the best uh, one for that one. So you've got tickety, 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 tickety. So it, it says you having to remember what beat you're on. Um, even when I'm counting this, I don't I don't usually count one to four. I just go as far as two, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, because you've enough to be thinking about without trying to remember whether you're on two or three or where you are. So tickety or, or one and uh, two and uh, so I would spend some time really getting comfortable with just one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, tickety tickety tickety. So spend some time on that. In the right hand, we have um, a start position. Here's middle C, so we're going up to treble C. You're going to put your third finger on treble C. And these are the five notes you're going to start off using. So you're starting with your middle finger, you're going down to your thumb, and then you're going up to your little finger. So think of your middle and the two extremities of your hand. So you're starting one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and... Uh, And at this point, move up so your third now is on that E where you've just landed. And this, uh, these are the notes you're going to play then. Same, same kind of pattern. Down to your thumb and then up to your fifth. Fifth, back down to thumb. And then you're going to stretch up one. And back up to C. 
same. Okay. So in that last stretch, all you're doing, and then back up to C. Just playing all the notes straight down and back up. It just shows the importance of uh, rhythm. If I, for example, I often do this for my students and it always blows their minds. If I play a scale of C backwards, that's just a scale of C backwards. But if I change the rhythm slightly, you end up with something very different. See, same notes, just uh, change the rhythm and it completely, you would not recognize it as being the same notes because the rhythm has such a transformative effect on it. So uh, back to our heart and soul, A all the way down to F, back to C. And it's just the rhythm, it's that swing rhythm. At that point you can turn around and go back again. Try to, um, when you're coming up from the F, you might land with your fifth, swap immediately to your third, you get back into that position. Swap to your third. Down to thumb and then up to the A, etc. And you can you can keep going round and round. When you start putting the two hands together, that's when it's really important to have mastered the art of counting in, in triplets and thinking in, in triplets because that's what you're going to be doing. One and uh, two, sorry, one and uh, two. Sorry, that was a bit a bit fluffed, but you get the idea. It, to be able to count in triplets is what's going to help you um, get the coordination going. And I would spend some time when you start uh, trying to put the hands together. Just at the, the very first little bit can be the trickiest bit. One and uh, two. Because what you'll find will happen is you're... And, and you won't know what to do. So take your time, take it really slow. One and uh, two. Again, master the left hand, master the right hand, um, really spend some time on the rhythm. Um, if you're playing music for somebody who isn't a musician and you hit a few wrong notes, they won't necessarily notice. But the most unmusical, and everybody's musical, but people who consider themselves to be completely unmusical will still recognize if your rhythm is off even slightly. We're extremely rhythmical animals. Um, so really, really spend some time getting to grips with counting those triplets and getting that swing, that swing rhythm, uh, which you, once you've got the, the hang of it, you can transfer that to all kinds of other pieces. It's, it's uh, a very popular uh, way of playing. So do spend time on that. And again, be kind to yourself. It takes time. It takes a lot of repetition. Um, so go slowly and you'll, you'll get it bit by bit. So that's heart and soul. Uh, I hope you have some fun playing it and working it out. Once you've mastered it, as far as you want to go with it, whether you go as far as putting your hands together or not, have a go at teaching it to someone else. It's one of the great joys of a piece like this is you get to pass it on, uh, especially to somebody maybe younger than yourself who's also just starting off in piano. You'll be an absolute legend to them if you can teach them something like heart and soul. So let me know how you get on. As always, uh, I'd love if you'd subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm hoping to produce a video at least every week. Um, lots of nice content to come and uh, I'd love to hear from you. See uh, what you'd actually like me to record, what would be helpful for you. And uh, so I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.